What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna give you an update on electrical service. So, as you saw previously, we had the meter mounted and the external disconnect for the house, ground wire and all that. Well, oh, sidebar, electrical service. We almost have it, look at that. That's pole with a transformer and power. So that's going all the way out to the street, uh, ping-ponging uh, between three different poles before uh, actually hooking up to the grid. So that's our last pole. And so now all we're waiting on is the crew to come back and basically trench the lines from that pole down across my drive and to my meter. Okay, back from sidebar. So meter, I thought I was done. Well, on a hunch, I went ahead and called my the guy at the electric company. And I asked him, so do you guys put the conduit in for the meter for your conductors or do I? And he's like, oh no, you have to do that. Oh goody. So I was in an immediate time crunch. So that basically what they require is for me to come out of the meter with a two inch and then go down three feet and use a, a sweep 90, long sweep 90, basically terminating just right there. And then they will hook up to that either with their own conduit or they'll just shove direct berry wires in there. I honestly don't know. But so this is what I had to do uh, and very quickly. So that is hand dug down three feet through two foot of shale. Let me tell you, this was really fun, but we got it done. And so we've got two inch conduit there. Like I said, a, a 36 inch long sweep 90 so that there's no problem pulling the cables. And then I've got just some regular two and that's a, yeah. And I got some regular two inch schedule 40. And then this thing is important. Um, a lot of people I think forget this, but this is something you want. This is called a slip sleeve or a uh, expansion coupling. And what this does, as you can see, is it moves. Okay, and the reason being you want that is if the ground moves or shifts at all and you've got this rigid pipe buried in the ground connected to a rigid box that's mounted, something will break and it will probably be your plastic pipe. So what the expansion coupling is designed to do is to allow the, the pipes to give a little bit. Um, so uh, it's, it's not cheap. Like a two inch one of those is like 20 bucks. So, I mean, it's in terms of PVC fittings, it's a little expensive, but better to do it once, do it right. And, and that's it and not have to worry about it. Uh, you can see my mess of gluing it up, which is another sidebar. I've read conflicting reports of how you glue up a uh, PVC conduit. Do you use primer and glue just like you do uh, white pipe, drain waste vent pipe, or do you just use uh, just glue and not primer? Um, I've also seen guys that don't even use glue at all. So if you have strong opinions on the matter or you know something definitive, please weigh in in the comments. Um, anyway, so there's kind of our update. We are waiting for the crew to come out and trench. It is July 2nd, heading into a uh, holiday weekend. So I don't think it's gonna get done until next week, which is perfectly fine, uh, but we're ready. So that's about all I got for you. Anxiously awaiting power. And uh, as you can see from the poll, we are close. So uh, thanks for watching YouTube.